Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I just want to talk about um, something that we ended up seeing over at the UFO sighting event, uh, August 20th, 2017, over at Hollydale Park, over in um, Southgate, Los Angeles. I want to thank Fausto Perez for hosting this event. Had a great time. Just want to thank everyone for uh, for participating and being there with us and helping us uh, draw these things into our location. This one that we ended up seeing uh, was an orb. I want to thank John Graff for helping me capture this one and uh, for his wonderful pictures. This one was fantastic. This is what we call an orb. This one came to us with a perfectly round pattern, pearl-like structure. Although difficult to see with this live footage because it was hard to capture, uh, this one was very perfectly round. I end up slowing it down and blowing it up so you could see it closer. But uh, with a typical balloon has an oblong structure. It's oblong. It's not. It's it's more like egg shaped uh, rather than perfectly round. Also, there are a couple of other structures that are on typical balloons are. Uh, a tether tag, something that kind of dangles from it, so you could attach a tether. And the other distinguishing factor is the drip point. There's usually a, a darker coloration point where, you know, when they manufacture the balloons that the uh, balloons are hung upside down and there's a drip point which usually has a little bit more latex in it. So there's no, you could see that there's no um, drip point on here either. But it's perfectly round, you, you, it, impossible to, you know, find a perfect perfectly round uh, latex balloon, uh, you know, with no drip point or, uh, or a tether tag. So this one was just fantastic. But this is what's interesting. Some will take into account the facts and others will ignore or dismiss the facts. Those that dismiss the facts by definition are delusional. Here's the difference between a skeptic and a cynic. If you show a skeptic enough facts, you can possibly change their mind because they have an open mind. A cynic has already made up their mind and has already made their decision. Facts don't matter at this point because irrationality, possibly due to pride or even a lifetime of brainwashing, has dictated their emotional decision. This footage is the real deal. They can see with their own eyes that the object that is before them has the big three. It's round, not oblong, no drip point, nor tether tie. The heaviest portion of the latex balloon would be the tether tie, which would be pointing down at this point due to gravity. In order to see what you're watching, a balloon would have to sustain laying on its side, which would be impossible. Because I'm taping from the ground and looking up, you should see the tether tie, but instead what you see indicates that what you are observing is an orb, either an extraterrestrial drone or an atmospheric animal or anomaly. Take a good look. This is probably one of the best orbs you've ever seen. In other words, it's good to be a skeptic with an open mind and bad to purposely overlook the facts. Is that cool? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. I think we're good. No, we got tree now. I know. Good job. Good job. Did you did you record it? Yeah. Definitely. You could stop it. That was a good one. Excrement.